Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. Now today I want to talk about Philippines vlogging and is it a tough gig? So I know when I first started Philippines vlogging, I had no real idea or when I, when, when I started this YouTube channel, I really had no idea about what was really involved. It all looked so easy and I guess I went into it very naively and very blindly and just thought well, anyone can do this. I mean after all you watch plenty of videos on YouTube and it looks so easy to do and I guess I didn't realize at that very early stage that I was going to even create an ongoing channel out of it. When I first started this it was more about just uploading a few things so my family could see you know what I've been up to which which I'll get to shortly and cer certainly yeah had no no real plans at that stage of creating a full-on channel out of it which I which we've got to now and while my channel is still only a very small channel at 1850 subscribers I've, I've had a very steep learning curve along the way and I'm still learning a lot about YouTube but you know really there's so much to learn and you never stop learning in, in, in when you've got a YouTube channel so what I'm wanted to talk a little bit today about is is it a tough gig doing YouTube and a few hints and tips about how to create a new Philippines vlogging YouTube channel but first I'll just give you a little bit of a history of this channel um, I actually first created my YouTube account back in 2010 but that was just just to look at YouTube videos it was never with the intention to upload anything at all and then I went to the Philippines in 2013 and had a few little videos there which were never uh, meant for YouTube. They were just for my own personal collection. And back in February of 2017 I thought well I'll put them on on and see if anyone you know appreciates them or likes them and see what happens. So I had I think um, there was one of my relationship with my now wife and there was a few there around Ocean Park and Manila and a couple of others that I just put on and uploaded. And I thought, oh, this seems all right. So I kept on going with it. And in the same month, February of 2017, I just, I thought, well, I created a self-help channel. So that was around, I guess, my profession. What I do professionally is I'm a counsellor. So I help people with self-help issues, a whole variety of things we spoke about in, in those uh, 100 plus videos that I did at that time. And the channel was just simply called Peter Cowie. It was just my name. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. The, when I look back at a lot of those videos, they're quite cringe, cringe worthy, I guess. But there was a lot of good information in there as well for people who might have been struggling in certain areas of their life. So I'm very happy that I did those videos for sure. But I found it was very slow processing growing. It was just very, very slow. So, and, and I was becoming more interested in the Philippines as I, I was uh, married now to a Filipina and I thought there was a lot of good information I can offer any subscribers who wanted to watch or any people who wanted to watch for that matter and so I started a channel called Australian and Philippines Adventures which was in September of 2017 so there was a shift there where I went away from doing the self-help videos into adventures more adventure stuff about traveling around and showing you know our adventures in the philippines and australia now as i learned more about youtube and how things work on youtube if i wanted the channel to grow i realized through help of other people and watching youtube videos from the experts who say you've got to have more of a narrow focus to keep an audience or to gain subscribers and that was probably the reason why the Australian and Philippines channel wasn't really growing much at all. So I focused in on just the Philippines rather than trying to do Australia and the Philippines. So it would draw the people who had an interest just in the Philippines. And you know, we could, I could share my experiences, my views on things, uh, especially around relationships, which go hand in hand with my professional experience as a uh, relationship counsellor as well as my experience dating a Filipina, marrying a Filipina, and all the things that go around that, all the different issues that are involved culturally, and right through to our exploring the Philippines. So it offered a, a wide variety within that one genre, if you like. 
So in February of 2018, we created All About the Philippines, which was specifically focused in on Philippines topics. As I say, around relationships, travel, hints and tips, all that sort of thing for first time travelers, which is still where we're at today. Now it's been quite a process through the time trying to find, you know, what the audience is really, really enjoying, what they're really liking, and we're still honing in on that. But I think we're starting to get it right in recent times as the subscribers are increasing and the views are also increasing, which tells us that you know, we're doing something right there. When we finished Australia and Philippines Adventures, we we're around about the 400 subscribers. 14 months later, we've added an extra 1,450 subscribers in that time. So it tells me that things are going in a positive direction and I really enjoy doing this stuff. And that's the key, guys. The key is if you don't enjoy doing it, then you're not going to last on YouTube. You've really got to enjoy it. You don't do it for the money because the money, it doesn't happen. It takes a long time to happen. It takes a lot of videos, a lot of hours of filming your videos, processing your videos, editing your videos, uploading them to YouTube, getting them right, you know, researching, all the research that goes into finding out how the algorithms work, how they how to write a description, how to put the keywords in, what keywords to use, what titles to use, all these different things. You've really got to learn about those. And I had no idea, absolutely no idea. And I'm still learning all the time, still watching a lot of videos that teach you about that sort of thing. And slowly, bit by bit, it's clicking into this old brain. Uh, it doesn't learn that well these days, but bit by bit, it seems to be working. So it is a long, tough grind for a lot of new YouTubers, absolutely. And I've been there and done that, and still a long, a long grind. It's still, the channel's not where I want it to be by any stretch of the imagination. We go about doing it because we like it. We keep uploading videos, and that's a key, guys, as well, uploading regular videos. It's no good if you're gonna upload a couple of videos this week, none next week, none the week after, and then three or four the next week. You've gotta be regular, you've gotta keep uploading. And I have found in recent times I've been uploading every day, and that's hard work to do that, especially when you're working a full-time job. But I have found since I've been doing that, the views have shot right up, the subscribers are shooting right up as well. My channel is growing as a result of that. So I don't know if I can keep that level up while I'm working full time. Um, and there's different ways that I do that. Now th this is this this is important for a lot of new YouTubers as well. What I've been doing lately to get more videos on is one that I'm making my videos like I'm doing right now. Now these sorts of videos I'm doing here, you'll see behind me the picture on the screen. This is a green screen I'm using behind me. Now when you're using green screens, it's actually taking, it takes you a lot longer to edit your videos for them to process with a green screen image. So it could take me just to upload, to, to complete this video and get it onto YouTube, it could take the best part of half a day, you know, four or five hours just for this video to get uploaded. And that's my choice to use the green screen and do the editing and all that sort of stuff. But that's how long it would take for one video. Now, the other, the other things that I've been doing is, of course, I don't live in the Philippines, but I need to get Philippine content as much as I can because that's what my subscribers are looking for. They're looking to see what's going on in the Philippines as well as hearing my experiences in the Philippines. So I've got a sister-in-law in the Philippines who I've, I've um, purchased a gimbal for her and she goes around, she'll film different things and that's where some of these videos will come from. And we try and get her to go to interesting places around the Philippines. I think she, she's done um, Rizal Park, um, Ayla, the Ayla Dancing Fountains. She's got up to Baguio and filmed a few things and she continues to do a few more things every now and again for me, which is helping to you know, get a view on what's going on in the Philippines and people enjoy that. On top of that, you can also use a thing which is called Creative Commons licensing. So you can use other people's videos, which they've given you permission by the fact that they've got their Creative Commons license, uh, which is free for everybody to use. So you can go and you can use that as well every now and again, and you can put a video up. No, but you've got to be very careful with using that Creative Commons license that it is that person's video and they haven't taken it from somewhere else. Otherwise, you could end up with a copyright strike on that. 
but if you if you if you're careful about it and you do it that way then you can get a little bit more content as well but overall we're really focusing on the videos I make here and also the videos that my sister-in-law will send there the, that's the ones we're trying to focus on the most and we had a little bit of the creative common stuff in there which then allows us to upload every week while I'm working a full-time job so that's probably the biggest tip that I've got for people how to increase your channel and make it grow at a, at a faster rate. Now in the time that we've been doing the YouTube, so we go back to the very start of it. So, so this is from February of 2017, so a bit over two years, where we started from zero. A few statistics here that I'll read out. So we've had 425 uploads, so 425 videos have been uploaded to YouTube. We've just gone past the 200,000 views just gone past 1850 subs or subscribers we've got 567,000 minutes of watch time 1768 shares of our video so that our videos have been shared 1768 times we've got over 60 videos in our philippines relationship playlist we've had over 11,000 comments 13,689 likes awesome guys and 594 dislikes. Our top five videos in that time, which is sort of interesting when you look at the top five videos. Number one with 25, over 25,000 views is my wife's, uh, my wife making buko salad, which is a, a traditional Filipino dessert. That's hit over 25,000 views. It still gets regular views to, to this day. So it's still growing. The second one was the video I did on Catriona Gray, Miss Universe, Snubs Australia. That, that really got a lot of interest and I've got over 17,000 views on that. Third on the list was the Australian Filipina proposal and wedding. So when I, I've, I've combined a video there of myself and my wife when, we, when I proposed to her and when we got married. That's got over 12,000 views. The next one was Filipinas, how to get a foreigner to fall in love with you. So some tips around that for Filipinas. We always like to include our Filipinas here and, and try and do some content for you guys. So, and that's got over 10,000 views. And coming in fifth on the list is Should Manny Pacquiao Retire? With over 8,000 views. So, and many of our other videos have, you know, one, two, three, four thousand views as well. So, uh, while it's not huge, you know, we're not a huge channel, but we're growing in the right direction. And that's what I encourage people who are going to start a channel. First, if you're passionate about what you're doing, you're not doing it for the money because you're not going to get money for some time if at all um, then there is a lot of time and effort that goes into it most of my free time at home is spent on doing youtube videos i will have a friday saturday and sunday where i'm not working and those three days are pretty much filled with creating these videos editing these videos and uploading these videos to youtube so be prepared to put a bit of work in if you want the channel to grow. That's, that's my best advice. So guys, for me, because I love doing this sort of stuff, I, I, I like doing it, I like getting on the video, I like to uh, give people some insights into what my experiences being uh, dating, then marrying a Filipina, and all the things that go on with that, my, my travels around the Philippines, sharing those videos. I love doing it, so it's not really too much of an effort for me to do this but if you're not really passionate about what you're going to do then maybe YouTube might not be the thing for you to do you have really got to have that commitment and passion and you've got to even on the days you don't feel like doing it you've got to find a way to still get your content out there if you want your channel to slowly grow okay guys I hope these tips have been interesting to you don't forget to leave your comments below share the video around give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and of course Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Thanks very much for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.